everyone so I am bringing you guys a collective haul today I haven't done a haul in forever it feels so crazy to have a haul and I'm so excited to bring one because I've missed it I've missed shopping I'm still technically on my project pan if you haven't seen that I'll link those videos down below so I am on a shopping freeze for like makeup and skincare and things like that where I have plenty of um, so I'm trying to use that up but that does not include gifts. So uh, during this five months that I've done the project pan so far, and then I've got one more month left, there has been Valentine's Day, um, Easter. I've had some really big uh, exams and papers for finishing up my master's. So my husband, Matt, has treated me a little bit. So <laughs> those are what these makeup products are. I wanted to show you guys, this has literally been for five months, these little hauls. So it's nothing compared to what I used to do. First thing is I got from Matt the Too Faced chocolate bar. The Home Shopping Network um, had a deal a few months back where if you are a new customer to them you got $20 off your purchase. So this ended up being $29 with free shipping and everything. $29 out the door. I told Matt, I was like, this cannot be passed up. Everyone has probably seen it. It's all over YouTube. It smells like chocolate. It is beautiful. The colors are really sensational. I love that there's kind of a mixture of your, your everyday nudes as well as like a beautiful kind of blue, a greenish color, some goldy greens, a beautiful kind of cranberry color. So I really have been enjoying this palette for sure. I, along with that, including just $29, they also <laughs> included a full size of the Too Faced shadow insurance, which is insane. Another huge sale that was also during my shopping freeze was the NYX Cosmetics online sale, and I believe it was 40% off, or was it 30% off um, each item, or your entire purchase, one of those. And so I got a few little goodies that I had wanted. First butter lipstick that I picked up was the one in Mary Jane's, which is actually what I am wearing today. It is just a beautiful red. It's absolutely sensational, and it goes on like a dream. It is super glossy. I don't have any gloss on right now. The only thing is because they are so glossy and so smooth, that with these dark colors, it's it's really easy to kind of go outside of your lip line so be careful with that that's the only thing I would highly suggest using a lip liner with this this is licorice and I guess it's similar to one of max lipsticks I think rebel is it rebel um, it's just a beautiful vampy purple lollies which is a nice really light kind of um, bright corally pink um, that's a really great color for right now for the spring and summer kind of a easy one to apply to your lips not have to worry about it too much and then uh, fizzies which is a kind of everyday pink that is also very very pretty Next, I got three of NYX little color concealers uh, this one is the yellow one and it is just what it says a yellow concealer I really wanted to play around with some inexpensive color correcting concealers and I've heard the NYX ones are fantastic this one is the orange one or salmon what do they call it orange there's that one I haven't used that yet or the green one which is kind of just a beautiful <laughs> light bluish green so I am gonna play around with those see if they uh, do what they're supposed to do each color has kind of a different usage so that could be kind of like a fun review video for the future I also got this NYX photo loving primer and this is the anti redness one um, so it is the green one and I heard this is comparable to the Smashbox photo finish primer which I absolutely adore so I hope that it is similar and obviously this is way more affordable and I have some redness from you know when I have some breakouts as well as some acne scarring um, so I thought that this would be a really good primer to try so I'm excited to try that I got two of their baked blush illuminator bronzers it says big blush plus illuminator plus bronzer so I guess it's just a three-in-one um, I got the color in chiffon which is this beautiful like light pink I thought that this would be a great color for all over the cheeks um, or as like a highlighter 
you can kind of see it right there. So it's just a light kind of color, but I thought it would be really pretty and um, flattering on my fair skin. Next one is Celeste, and this is a, it's kind of like a bronzer. It's kind of like a, it's a pretty light bronzer. I don't know if you would really want to contour with that. Um, it's a little on the orange side, so I don't know if I love that, but I'm going to play around with it and see if it works. The, you know, I wanted to give a couple of these a try since they're brand new. And then I got one of these. I've never heard of these before. They're the NYX Chunky Dunk. <laughs> kind of a funky name. Um, and it's just like the craze, these cute little um, chubby sticks. And this actually, unfortunately, is very, very light. It's almost just like a gloss with a hint of color. I'm like going over this like crazy and there's not too much pigmentation. So I guess this would be really good for kind of every day just for a nice little wash of color. But I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But you know, it was only a couple dollars for the sale. I also got the Jumbo Lip Pencil in Deep Red. I really like, these are the same size as their Jumbo Eye Pencils. And I really liked how small it is for these dark colors to have kind of more of a little concise um, application and this color is beautiful and it's absolutely so creamy and goes on like a dream um, again probably one of the like more fallish winter colors but that's gonna be a beautiful vampy red the next gift that Matt got me was from the Matt collection of the Alluring Aquatics, their summer collection, the Aphrodite Shell, and it's a little bit more rose gold -y swatch angle, but this is already stained. <laughs> so um, that is that, and it's got way more of a bronzy kind of rose gold hint to it, so it's a lot more my speed, and it does go on very nicely, and it is kind of creamy, and the packaging is insane, so I got this one and I do really like it. The lipsticks, again, flawless packaging. It is insane how beautiful the packaging is. It has the cool, like, raised water drops all over it. Flawless. Frost in Pet Me Please. And I just thought this was kind of a unique color. Zara swatches everywhere, so this is it. Finally, I swatched myself all over the place. Um, but it's kind of like this cool purpley rose gold color so I thought it was really unique I don't have anything like it so that's why I picked this one because I had to have something in this packaging plus I think it's a very cool color so that I liked and there were a few of the eyeshadows that I did really love but I thought I had some kind of comparable ones to that but I ha saw this one and I thought it was beautiful this is the one in silver sun and it's this gorgeous green. I absolutely love it. Look at how shiny that is. That is insane how beautiful it is. And it's got just this most beautiful silvery green sheen to it. And again, the packaging is just crazy. It's so good. Well, that is my collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely missed doing haul videos for sure. Definitely comment, put your thumbs up if you missed these haul videos from me, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. That would mean the world to me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!